In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, good morning, everyone. Hasn't it been a long time since we've had, had a weekday Mass together? Right back to March, and now we're into August. But today's Monday, the 3rd of August. It's the week 18 of the year. Mass today is being offered for Nino Pambuena, which is his anniversary today. We've been praying to for a number of intentions over this time, so we'll keep them too in our minds. Saviour and Mary Coney, uh, Teresa Crichton, Brian Hubbs, Noreen Steedman, the mother of Mary Palomares, Carlos Duran, Rosa Beard, Luke Mehmet, Stephen Nightingale, Lena Vinayagam, Maggie Kaleska's mum, Paul Gallagher, Father Benito, Christine Galindo. A couple of other anniversaries around now, Rosie Alger, and also my cousin Mary Debbie, who died this day 12 months ago. Today our first reading from Jeremiah reminds us that it can be very difficult to distinguish between the true prophet and the false. And in the gospel, Jesus comes to the disciples across the water. Let's pause now for a moment to prepare. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. first reading is from the book of Jeremiah. At the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur, a Kipionite, spoke as follows to Jeremiah in the temple of the Lord, in the presence of the priest and of all the people. The Lord the God of Israel says this, I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon. In two years' time, I will bring back all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, carried off from this place and took to Babylon. And I will also bring back Jegonia, son of Jehoiakim, son a king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah, which has gone to Babylon. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, I am going to break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah then replied to the prophet Hananiah in front of the priest and all the people there in the temple of the Lord. I hope so, the prophet Jeremiah said. May the Lord do so. May he fulfill the words that you have prophesied and bring the vessels of the temple of the Lord and all the exiles back to this place from Babylon. Listen carefully, however, to this word that I am now going to say for you and all the people to hear. 
From remote times, the prophets who preceded you and me prophesied war, famine, and plague for many countries and for great kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace can only be recognized as only truly sent by the Lord when his word comes true. The prophet Hananiah then took the yoke of the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it. In front of all the people, Hananiah then said, the Lord says this, this is how two years hence, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and take it off the necks of all the, na the nations. At this, prophet Jeremiah went away. After the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke which he had taken of the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord was addressed to Jeremiah. Go to Hananiah and tell him this. The Lord says this, you can break the wooden yokes, right. I will make them iron yokes instead. For the Lord Sabaoth, the God of Israel, says this, an iron yoke is what I now lay on the necks of those nations to subject them to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. They will be subject to him. I have even given him the wild animals. The prophet Jeremiah said to the prophet Hanania, listen carefully, Hanania, the Lord has not sent you, and thanks to you these people are now relying on what is false. Hence, the Lord says this, I am going to throw you off the face of the earth. You are going to die this year since you have preached apostasy from the Lord. The prophet Hanania died the same year, the seventh month. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, Lord, teach me statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. Keep me from the way of error and teach me your law. Do not take the word of truth from my mouth, for I trust in your degrees. Lord, teach me your status. Let your faithful turn to me, those who know your will. Let my heart be blameless in your status, lest I be ashamed. Lord, teach me your status. Though the wicked lie in wait to destroy me, yet I ponder your will. I have not turned from your degrees, you yourself have taught me. Lord, teach, teach me your status. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he would send the crowds away. After sending the crowds away, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, while the boat, by now far out on the lake, was battling with a heavy sea, for there was a headwind. In the fourth watch of the night, he went towards them, walking on the lake. And when the disciples saw him on the lake, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But at once Jesus called out to them, saying, Courage! It is I, do not be afraid. It was Peter who answered, Lord, he said, if it is you, tell me to come to you across the water. Come, said Jesus. 
Then Peter got out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus across the water. But as soon as he felt the force of the wind, he took fright and began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus put out his hand at once and held him. Man of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And as they got into the boat, the wind dropped. The men in the boat bowed down before him and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. Having made the crossing, they came to land at Genezaret. When the local people recognized him, they spread the news through the whole neighborhood and took all that were sick to him, begging him just to let them touch the fringe of his cloak. And all those who touched it were completely cured. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. There are more of you than I was expecting, actually. I thought we'd only have a, one, a few dotted around, but uh, it's good that you've uh, managed to come out. On the Sunday's Mass, when there are more, we've had communion at the very end of Mass after the blessing, but we'll, we'll have communion at the, at the usual time today. So, But there will be just one minister, just so come up by the centre aisle and then go back. By the, by the side aisles to your place. That first reading was a bit of a, bit of a difficult one, uh, lots of uh, long names and a bit of the history. We, it's been dealing over the last few days with the, the reign of King Jehoiakim, and he died and he was succeeded by his son, and then three months later, the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar, he invaded the territory and he carried off the new king and he installed his uncle Zedekiah on the throne. But four years later, Hananiah, he's a, another so-called prophet, he took it upon himself to talk about the, the, the regime being restored. There was no likelihood of that, but it was a kind of competition with Jeremiah who was saying exactly the opposite. So sparks were bound to fly in that this gospel, and we're going to get this uh, this coming Sunday as well. Christian people is often dis are often described as being on a boat with Peter at the helm. In a boat, everyone has their part to play, but without Jesus, the disciples, they weren't working together. They were getting exhausted, they were frustrated, and probably bad-tempered and quarrelling. When Jesus appears, everything changes. First they're afraid and then they're amazed. And then Peter rushes to meet him and he loses confidence. In all our troubles and worries, Jesus doesn't force himself upon us. He just jogs us and says, here I am if you want me. And he may disappear into the sea mist again for a time, but and we, like Peter, can sink into the water like as if we were mistrustful. But remember, Jesus can cope with even a life-threatening situation. Let's pray. Let us give thanks to Christ our Lord, who loves and cherishes his church. So each prayer will have this response. Be near us, Lord, this day. Be near us, Lord, this day. Lord Jesus, grant that all people may be saved and come to knowledge of the truth. Be near us, Lord, this day. Protect Pope Francis and Vincent, our bishop. Help them, Lord, in your strength and mercy. Be near us, Lord, this day. Support those who meet with difficulty and disappointment. Renew their confidence and sense of purpose. Be near us, Lord, this day. Christ, our loving Lord, in your kindness be with the sick and the poor, the weak and the dying. Bring them your comfort. Be near us, Lord, this day. We commend to you all those who in their lifetime 
shared in the sacred ministry. Let them praise you forever in heaven. Be near us, Lord, this day. Let's ask Mary to join us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All-powerful God, since you have given us your unworthy servants the strength to work throughout this day, accept our sacrifice of praise as we thank you for your gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. And now, obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, our Saviour. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, <clears throat> Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. As best we can, can we acknowledge each other in a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for being here at Mass again today. It's been a, a strange experience um, just having Mass in front of a camera for, for so, so long, so it's good to, good to have you back with, with us. Let me know if you've got any prayer intentions you do want mentioned. And many thanks for the contributions to the food bank over this long period. It's been a lifeline for many families in the area, so don't... Uh, let that go. We'll continue with that on a, on a weekly basis. Now, the next public mass will be on Thursday, so perhaps I might, might see you there. But we'll continue with the broadcasting of the daily mass, except on Wednesdays and Saturdays. A good day today. Be safe. Um, the regulations um, discourage me from going to the back of the church and saying goodbye, but um, so I'll have to say it from here. So have a great day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.